Want a beautiful new smile without wearing braces? At Wilson Orthodontics, we're the area's only premier preferred provider of Invisalign, the revolutionary clear way to get that awesome new smile. That means we're Invisalign experts. And we're the only provider north of Atlanta using the iTero Scanner, a digital scanner that eliminates the need for those gaggy, gooey impressions. Discover more at WilsonBraces.com or call us to schedule a free consultation. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams. The level of Lake Lanier is the highest it's been in two years, according to the latest measurements. Friday morning at 9.15, the level was sitting at 1066.90. That's just a bit over four feet from full pool. The increase is thanks mainly to the rain that soaked the region in February. In Gainesville, for example, there was just over six inches of rainfall during the month. Opposition was strong Thursday night from a business owner, several homeowners, a Chateau Elan lawyer, and the mayor of Brazelton, but Hall County Commissioners cast their final vote in favor of renaming Friendship Road east of Interstate 985 to Lanier Islands Parkway. It was a narrow second reading vote, three to two, with opposition votes from Commissioner Craig Lutz and Chairman Dick Meekham. The only person to speak in favor of the road name change was Engineer Brian Rochester of Rochester and Associates of Gainesville. A large turnout is expected for Tuesday night's Gainesville City Council meeting as a decision will be made on a much-debated rezoning request for a shopping center on Dawsonville Highway. Homeowners in the Lakeshore Heights subdivision are opposed to the rezoning of the 25-acre tract where a shopping complex nearly a quarter million square feet in size is expected to be built. And Hall County authorities think they've solved a series of ID thefts with the arrest of a Gainesville man. Investigators say 51-year-old David Lamar Beck of Gainesville is accused of trying to buy a vehicle with a counterfeit check. When authorities searched his home, they found a number of fake ID cards and stolen checks. Beck also faces charges in White and Forsyth counties. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams.